আর্কিটেকচ আর পার্ট অফ দি সোসাইটি আর্কিটেক এই টোটাল সমাজকে খোঁচাতে পারে ভালো জিনিস বোঝাতে পারে এভরি আর্কিটেক মাস্ট বি কমিটেড তো আর যখন প্রফেশন বেছে নিচ্ছে তখন তাকে কমিটেড হতেই হচ্ছে architecture should tell a story about the people the culture climate and the context most of the architectural work we see in bangladesh today unfortunately does not does not reflect a consideration of the, these very important aspects uh, mostly uh, barring a few exceptions few architects who are doing very sensitive work work that are relevant to the context to this country but most of the works you see are simple copies from different magazines and that is not which is something very desirable Lawachara National Park in Bangladesh is a haven for nature. In designing a visitor center for the park, architect Esan Khan looked to its surroundings for inspiration. Our objective was to design a building which belongs to the nature and the nature also belongs uh, to the uh, interpretation center. The center has boosted the park's appeal as a destination for ecotourism. Revenues go to local communities, giving them a stake in preserving the park and its natural setting. Because there are so many trees around the site, we wanted to have the structure into the forest. We decided not to cut any single tree over here, and that's how the form came into being. The structure is a very simple, a rectangular building in plan, but the cut and the punches give its unique quality. In my childhood, uh, I wanted to be a poet. The rhythm of rhymes, the composition of the words, give me so much pleasure. Uh, I thought that the poet might be the best creature. Maybe that instinct deep inside my mind works when I grew up. So, as an architect, when I work with the structure uh, uh, and try to compose the surroundings with the greens, the winds, the light, the shadows, uh, give me the same pleasure. And I try to bring in my architecture those things um, with the childhood memory. Uh, so I feel uh, I'm an architect at the same time uh, the creation I'm doing, it is like I'm an urban poet. 
I saw my city is changing every single day, uh, but I have the same feelings uh, what I had in my childhood, uh, the openness, uh, the rain, the wind, what we used to get uh, very easily. But day by day, it is becoming very tough to get those things on your urban livings. So whenever I, um, I did the housing projects, even in the commercial, big commercial projects, commercial buildings uh, projects, or any uh, community projects, uh, I actually um, intentionally uh, try to bring those elements that my childhood memories in my architecture. I don't think that uh, architecture uh, should be always uh, in iconic form. Uh, architecture can be in any form. Uh, to me, uh, architecture is some type of uh, social language. Uh, you're uh, making communication with the inhabitants uh, of those places. Uh, so your form has to uh, uh, make a bondage uh, between uh, the users. Uh, let me give you an example. So when you saw my when you see my housing projects, you'll find that uh, I bring uh, the gardens, I bring opening uh, to come rain so that people feel that uh, in a tidy place you're living but at the same time you're, uh, you're with the nature. So that sort of small uh, things bringing in housing projects, actually you're making a social bondage and it's also a social language that uh, your next door neighbor also feel he's a part uh, of uh, of nature and the same time he's a he's a part of uh, your friendship too so uh, to me uh, architecture is a social language too Becoming an architect is a very interesting issue for me because I never wanted to be an architect. Uh, I always wanted to be a painter. I started my uh, projects, architectural projects, uh, in a painterly manner. I try to develop the marriage between architecture and painting, and uh, architecture becomes watercolor. <laughs> the landscape of Dhaka has changed a lot. Uh, traffic congestion, uh, growth of population, uh, lack of uh, uh, jobs even in the villages. So all the you know pressure coming onto the cities. So t cities are becoming very cramped. Fortunately, um, uh, we realized, people of the country realized uh, that uh, uh, highly dense a country, a city needs definitely green for sustainability. And architects are becoming activists uh, nowadays. And you realize that architecture is not just, uh, just a personal uh, expression of thing, it's rather expression of, uh, of a society. It's a social phenomena. Then I started thinking, uh, uh, we have a responsibility, a social responsibility. And then we need to understand what type of architecture uh, we need to do uh, on a particular place. So if it is Bangladesh, then, then we have a history. So if I forget the history, then I'm disconnected. I'm rootless. I'll be, I'll be nowhere simply. Shatoto, architecture for green living. We work with, uh, with the natural ventilation, we work with the flow of water, we work with the vegetation, planting, to reduce the consumption of power, the electricity, to reduce the carbon footprint. Why we do architecture? To me, is always the center is the human being. We do everything for the people. 